What's up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so I just wanted to pop on here to introduce this video. So this is video three in the six part series where we are going to be counting down different Berkeley students with different majors before the college admissions decisions are released. So you can see what different kinds of students day in the lives are and then maybe come to UC Berkeley. So let's get started. Good morning, everyone. My name is not Rachel Lin. I am taking over her channel for today. We're right now going to ambush her on her campus tour. We'll see you there. Since it's one of the big experience statues that we have, so we will cross the street this way. 4.0 Hill, it is called that because during orientation, your orientation leaders will make you roll down this hill and it is said when you roll down it, you will get a 4.0 GPA your first semester here at Berkeley. I am now back in my room. For those of you who doesn't know me, my name is Yu Yang. I am a third year studying psychology and data science at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm Rachel's co-worker friend, whatever you want to call us. No, we're friends. So I'm taking over a channel for today and sharing my perspective about being a data science and a psychology major at UC Berkeley. So right now I'm just at home um, after a few meetings and spying on her campus tour. I'm now watching lecture. Um, this is actually one of my data science class and it's very interesting um, because it is completely online. We don't have any in-person lecture that we need to go to and it's about database system and trying to build a data space from scratch. It's interesting in the concept that it doesn't allow you to fall behind, which I like very much because I feel like going to other lectures and I don't go and then I just don't watch the webcast until the midterm. We've been there, done that, <laughs> not gonna do that again. A little bit about data science at UC Berkeley. It has grown as a field, as a discipline over the past few years in the industry and UC Berkeley has really picked up the game trying to build a new major. UC Berkeley has really built up a program to serve students in learning more about data science. Uh, the whole initiative probably started around late 2015, 2016. And right now we have a full on major with hundreds and hundreds of people declared already. Interesting fact, one of our intro data science class has now become the most popular class on campus that everyone is trying to take every semester. It's a very, very, very interesting class and it's also exported online. So if you're interested, definitely check out Data 8 um, the foundation of data science on edX it is something that you probably never thought is so easy and so intuitive but also so interesting to learn a little bit about what i do okay bus a little bit about psychology as well i am double majoring in psychology and data science in the sense that I really think data science is going to be helpful as a tool, as a skill set in the long run when I want to do more psychology research in the future in academia. Data science, it's really an intersection between computer science, statistics, and a domain focus because you can't really do data science without knowing what that domain is about. So it really, really, really depends on a domain emphasis. So. Um, you can apply the data science technique and skills that you learned in class um, into the actual field that you are interested in. So if you're interested in data science or tangential fields like computer science, statistics, math, things like that, I definitely encourage you to check out data science as something new um, that is popping up now in the field. Check out the medium column called towards data science. It's very, very interesting articles to read about and different problems that people are trying to tackle and also people's stories, uh, learning about data science from scratch and uh, landing a job as a data scientist at one of the big tech companies. That is my day so far. I am going to my other data science class later and probably seeing Rachel on the way because she's coming out from the same lecture hall. Um, from the last time lecture slot. Also another perk of being an RA is really getting your single room, but also, also being an RA in my building, especially on the eighth floor, you get the perk like this. You get this amazing, amazing view of the Berkeley Hills, 
all of those are people living up there. I do not know how you survive, but good for you, you're rich. We also have Piedmont with the fraternities and sororities. This is Jackson Health right here. That is the graduate student housing. Um, we also got the California Memorial Stadium, the Maxwell Family Field, Lawrence Berkeley Lab, Law School, and then a little bit over there is Haw School of Business. So I got everything around here. It's a wonderful view to wake up to every single day. So I'm walking to class now. Very nice day out today. It's very warm. It's getting warm. We're out of winter. You can see a lot of cherry blossom around campus. So we found Rachel. Rachel is right there. Hello. No paparazzi. Are you going? You're going to class. Yes, I'm going to class. That's exciting, right? I know. Not I sh really. I need to stop sleeping in class. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. I see you later. Bye bye. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. I am currently walking to my midterm. Um, Berkeley CS is notoriously known for its late night midterms, so I'm going to take my database midterm right now. I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. I just finished my midterm. It was weird. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, off to a great weekend, studying for two other midterms. We'll see you later. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the day of my life. Um, it's actually one week later. Um, there's a lot that happened this past week. I've been through three midterms, turning the project, and still going through and gotten a little bit sick. There's actually been a lot of exciting and also not so exciting news for the past week throughout campus. This past weekend, our campus launched a whole new campaign, fundraising campaign for more money. The first one, very, very big gift in the history of UC Berkeley. It's a $252 million gift to our new data science division, which is now called um, the Division of Computing, Data Science, and Society um, to actually build a new hub. I'm very, very excited for the new hub to be built. It's actually very funny. Built on the, uh, it's going to be built on the plot of land that used to host uh, the psychology building. The psychology building, the old building called Tolman Hall, was torn down this past year because of um, earthquake safety issues. Berkeley Way West was built for the new site. Department. But anyway, it's kind of funny because I'm in both of those majors and one building is torn down I'm to both building for the other. So that's the good news. I guess the bad news is, well, I'm kind of sick. Um, went through three midterms in the span of five days. It was rough. It was really rough. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my intermittent video over the course of 10 days. Today's going to be the last day I'm filming. I am off work. Right now, going to a workshop that I helped plan. So I'm part of the Data Science Society I'm on campus. It's a student group, the first student group on campus to be focused on data science. Yeah, so today we are collabing with another campus org. I'm talking about the intersection between human-centered design and data science. So we're going to Jacobs, the Jacobs Institute for Design and Innovation. It's a very, very cool place. So I'll give you a little tour. Very looking forward to today's workshop um, and seeing how data science can help inform design choices. Hello, we're now at the workshop. This is Daniel. Hello. He's a four-time Data 100 TA on campus. Can you tell us what Data 100 is? So it's like it's a like a intermediate data science class where we teach you a lot of the different skills that you learn for data science, like pandas, SQL, and some modeling techniques as well. I just happened to come from discussion. Uh, attendance is a little bit low today. Thanks, Daniel. Yes, we have a decent turnout. This is Kritika. This is our president of Data Science Society. Hello. 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 Hi. 
Um, so yeah, we're at the Invention Core Plus DSS uh, workshop about human-centered design. So I'm really excited to be here and learn about how design and data science interact. But yeah, this is just a typical Friday, uh, I guess, in, in our club. You should join DSS. We have a lot of committees. We do education. We do consulting. We do decal. Uh, we have a general member program. We have something for everyone. So please do join. Come meet me. Come meet you. <laughs> It'll be a great time. Yay! <laughs> Hello! We are at First Friday. It is a street fair that happens every month on the First Friday in Oakland. We have a box of food. Very good Hawaiian food, we hope. We're now eating. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed the week, the day. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Steamy beanie boy. Yes. yes. <laughs> hope you really enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about data science on campus. See you next time.